Hello and welcome. Happy Sabbath. And i um, glad you're here. And uh, I'd like to share a few things with you. Hope you had a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. So much to be thankful for. And um, so let me show you some stuff here. A beautiful, happy Thanksgiving. And the uh, greatest thing to be thankful for is for our Savior. So let's, uh, let's say a little prayer. Dear Father, please be with and bless us in our study right now. And uh, humble our hearts and open our eyes and ears so we can see and hear you and follow you and trust you. And build our faith, Lord. Thank you so much for our Savior. And in his name, amen. All right. Well, I wonder what you guys did for Thanksgiving. Had a good meal. We had an interesting experience. And uh, it wasn't anything like that, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh, uh, she looks excited. That's so cool. And, uh, but I hope... I hope it was a day where you could just pause and reflect and be thankful to, to God. And uh, I like this. Today, I am grateful for, and then you can fill in that blank. And uh, Certainly, there's so much to thank him for. And uh, this one, I can certainly relate to. He blesses me much more than I deserve. And, uh, it's what makes him such a wonderful God. So, hmm. Maybe you've heard this song, uh, Weary Traveler by Jordan St. Cyr. And uh, it's a really, really powerful song. And I uh, hope you get a chance to listen to that and to look through the lyrics. Um, I like there in the refrain, Weary Traveler, Restless Soul. You were never meant to walk this road alone. That is so true. I heard something that really lifted me up the other day. And if you're familiar with Tony Evans from the uh, Urban Alternative, um, I've heard him a few times. That's a photo of him and his, his wife who passed almost two years ago now. But uh, such a powerful dynamic. And... Uh, uh, exuberant person and uh, he was saying something I don't have the exact quote but he was just saying are you like this deeply lost sinner you, you've spent your life rebelling a God, against God and you think there's no hope for you well think again and there's good news God is greater and we're going to come back to this okay keep that thought in mind but we're up here in the eastern Sierra and that's Mono Lake um, we went out to look at something. I'm not sure what, but we got up at five in the morning to get out there for sunrise. And it was eight degrees and they're walking on frozen, whatever there. And there's these hot, hot, um, hot springs that are bubbling up and stuff. And uh, so it's kind of interesting, but very cold. Then we went up to Bodie, the uh, ghost town, the ghost mining town, checked out some stuff there. And that was kind of interesting. So much stuff there. You know, Michelle and Ashley were both really excited about the stuff there. But you can't take it home. <laughs> anyway, we also went down by Convict Lake, which is right there west of the Mammoth Airport, if you're in the area. Beautiful lake. You can walk around that. We did that. Just really pretty. Beautiful reflection there early in the morning. It was wonderful. It's just so pretty and peaceful and calm. Then we came across this marker. And uh, you probably may not be able to read that, but it said in February 1990, a tragedy occurred there. And three boys from a local camp had fallen through the ice. And then two of the counselors um, a forest service employee and a um, 
fire captain all sacrificed their lives to uh, attempt a heroic rescue. And then just down from this plaque, we saw this little memorial there to dad, um, to one of the dads, I guess, with some flowers. And you know, it makes me wonder these, you, you see that they gave their, they sacrificed their lives attempting a heroic rescue. It makes me wonder who they were, what was going on. So I looked it up and uh, this is the 25th anniversary. That was back in 2015. So it's been about 31 years now. And it gave the story, more of the story. And uh, the teenagers fell through and then um, these first responders, Clay Cutter of the Forest Service and Ryder Anderson of the fire department all were there. Um, only one other person that had fallen through was rescued. So in all seven people lost their lives that day. And it makes me wonder about them and stuff. And, and um, what do that spirit that is willing to sacrifice their life. And this took me back to what Tony Evans was talking about. Are you a deeply lost sinner rebelling against God and thinking there's no hope? And as he said, there is good news. Take heart, man. God is greater. When all of us, when each one of us broke through the deceptive ice of sin, we can be thankful that Jesus is greater and that he came to our rescue and he succeeded in rescuing us. We just have to reach out our hand and let him take hold. So a lot to... A lot to think and meditate on walking around these lakes, walking around the ghost town, reading the stories, um, uh, looking back into history. And through it all, though, this is what Jesus came to do to break our spell, that, that spell with, that keeps us so absorbed in earthly things. And uh, just turn and look turn and look on Jesus and all the things of this earth grow so strangely dim. They're not nearly as important as we may have thought they once were. And so I hope this year you have just had a wonderful time of Thanksgiving with your family, with your friends, uh, with God. And, uh, it's funny, you know, I mentioned our Thanksgiving dinner. Basically, um, we went to a place and um, it was just unfortunately just terribly understaffed and terribly over busy. And, uh, and then the food was delayed and the poor waitress, she came out and she's like, I'm so sorry there was a little problem with your turkey. <laughs> And so it finally came out and I think there was still a problem with the turkey, but, uh, and then, um, and then the pumpkin pies, we had ordered some pumpkin pie and she came back out and said, I'm so sorry. Uh, they just came out of the oven. So they need 20 minutes to cool and kind of set up and stuff. And, uh, so we're like, no problem. We'll just take the pecan and, this and that. So at the very end, she came up and she was just always just apologizing for the delays and being uh, thanking us for being patient. And we're like, you know, um, you did a great job and stuff. And she, she and then she stopped. And she goes, I want to thank you all for being so nice because other people have been not nice. And she goes, I've, I've cried three times tonight. And I'm like, you know what? God bless you. And, you know, we just appreciate what you've done. And even though the meal uh, wasn't that good, we didn't tell her that, of course, but it makes, it makes me happy on the inside, knowing that the important thing out of all of that was just to be kind and thoughtful to her. And so hope she's having a better day after all of that. And, and I'm sure you all have many stories like that where you've shown grace and mercy. And uh, that's what God wants us to do. 
and certainly he has shown us great, great grace and mercy. Would you rather be here or would you rather be there? So he's coming here soon to take us back there. What a joyous, happy party that will be. I, uh, I hope you're looking forward to that party, that exciting day, that reunion. Um, let's pray, okay? I wanna thank you for joining and uh, Hope you're, uh, hope you're doing well today, okay? Let's pray. Dear Father, we are so, so far from a home. We're just going day by day away from home. But we're never far from you. You've promised to always be with us. So thank you for that comfort. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your love, your unending grace and mercy and showing us so much kindness that we don't deserve. So I thank you for that. I thank you that one day you are coming to take us home so we can finally be home. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friends, thank you so much. We've I think we're done with November, or is there one more set? Yeah, I think we're done. So I'll see you in December, okay? God bless you. Take care. Talk to you later.